Hello at St. Philip Lutheran Church and friends. This is Pastor Brad Doty coming to you with our Letting Go Daily Devotion for Thursday, April 6th. Happy Monday, Thursday, uh, as uh, we are in this week of Holy Week. We've been kind of focusing on Monday, Thursday in these devotions, and uh, today we are going to look at the garden as Jesus spends time in that garden, and uh, tomorrow move on to Good Friday. So our theme today is uh, the garden, and our reading comes from uh, the Gospel of Matthew, the 26th chapter. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little further, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet, not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, he went away for a second time and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again, he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not great at praying at night. My eyes, too, get heavy. Often it's in bed or a time where I am just exhausted or tired from the day and ready to sleep. Praying at night is not something that works for me and obviously didn't work for the disciples either. I'm sure they were exhausted from their long day. They always travel and walk and by the time it hits night, they are ready to close their eyes. But as we hear in the story of Jesus going to the Garden of Gethsemane, it's a place where they would go often that we hear in, uh, in this, uh, this text or the Gospel of Matthew as well. The importance for Jesus and his spiritual life, his relationship with God, to be with God in prayer. And it says that he was with, or he was gone from the disciples an hour. Have you thought about praying for an hour? And then he went and prayed for another hour and prayed a third time. Not sure how long at that time, but Jesus spends quite some time in prayer. Certainly, it is his way of being in relationship with his Father, with God, of being able to spend time with God and talk to God, especially in this uh, deep uh, struggle where he knows what is coming, where he is agitated to the point of death, asking God to let this cup pass, but not his will, God's will. And Peter and Jesus even approaches Peter, saying to him, you should be praying too, that you don't come into the time of trial. Jesus knows what Peter is about to experience as well. So the struggle of Jesus is about to come, and Jesus knows it. He comes to God in prayer. So whether we know that a tough time is coming ahead of us or whether we are in that point of struggle, may we see Jesus as our example of the importance of prayer, 
of coming to God and being in relationship and communication with God. And it's not that God answered Jesus' prayer. Actually, he said, no, this does have to happen. It is my will that this happens. So even though you are praying that this cup may pass, it's God's will that is done and not ours. So may we know, even though that God may not answer our prayer, or at least the way we want God to answer our prayer, or maybe that answer is no, may you know that God is with you, that God is listening to you, and that God loves you, that God will be with you through that struggle or through that time that you are going through. But may we come to God in our spirit to be able to worship God, to be able to talk to God, to pray to God and give thanks to God. Let us pray. Lord God, we give you thanks for the gift of your Son. We give you thanks for this example of your love, of uh, the example of how we can be in spirit with you in prayer, finding that time to be alone, to be able to come to you in a quiet place where our focus is on you. So Lord, may we find uh, that garden in our lives, a place where we can go to be in uh, your presence, to experience your love, to experience your grace, to be able to come to you with our joys, our concerns, our struggles, our fears, our desires. So Lord, we thank you for your presence and for being with us and hearing us when we come to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace, amen. Happy Monday, Thursday, and have a blessed day.